So we're going to work. We are going to work more with that BMI evaluator. We're taking it to the next level. In the first level, let's go ahead and take a look at the code here. In the first level, we set up our variables, height, feet, height, inches, weight, total inches, and BMI. And then we got prompted the user to enter in data. And we converted it from strings to ints. And then we calculated our BMI. And we alerted what the BMI was. So that was the program for Chapter 2. Now in Chapter 3, we're going a little bit further. We're going to evaluate the BMI using an if statement to determine where that falls in the classifications for BMI. So we're using this series of if else if statements to determine if or to determine where the BMI falls. Now we sort of treat this like a funnel and you could do the same thing going the other direction. We could have started by checking with a BMI greater than 50 or greater than or equal to 50 and worked our way down. But we should see w if it's less than this, it should trigger. If it triggers, we're done because once this is true, we don't need to go on into the else. So once we hit a true statement, it stops falling through this sort of funnel of options. If we never hit a true statement, we end with our last else, which is an alert that the BMI is in the super obese range. So let's go ahead and run the code. That should not say strings. Um, but let's go ahead and run the code. And so we're going to put in a height of 5 foot, 6 inches. We're going to say that the person weighs 160 pounds, and their BMI is 25.821, et cetera, which puts them in the overweight range. So the first one didn't trigger because it was underweight. The next one did, and that's, that's where it stopped, because we got a true evaluation in that if-else statement.